Let's talk about the Model 3 performance interest rate on a lease because now we've got some data to actually compare against all the other ones. And the lease interest rate is, it's not that good. We'll put it that. But if you take a look at Model 3 performances, I don't, I wish that you Tesla would post this. They used to post this on the actual website where they would tell you how much the interest rate when you're doing a lease. It's also also known as money factor. And when you go to edit terms and savings, it doesn't show any of the actual details on what that actually is. Well, on our handy dandy deal spreadsheet, we take it where we keep a track of all the best deals that are out there down below in the description, four to five to six thousand dollars off of Tesla vehicles. We also keep track of lease rates and we were actually able to get what the lease rate money factor is on a Model 3 performance and compare it against some of the others. And we can see and we were able to find out it is five point eight one percent on a lease when you take a look at it versus the other current 2025s i guess it's not that bad but the problem with this model 3 performance it's a 2024 there are no 2024s and the other problem with that is model 3 long range all-wheel drive for 2024s you can get low interest rates as low as 1.91 percent so it's way more favorable for sure if you're looking to get a 2024 that's really the deal that you need to be looking out for if you're looking to be leasing. I would say try and find a 2024 all-wheel drive long range and try and get one with a demo discount or not a demo discount because demos can't be leased and just get an inventory discount where you can get $5,000 off because that's really where you're going to save the most and be get a really low lease payment. But definitely it's a pretty interesting stuff. Let us know what your thoughts on Let us know what you're thinking. I'm kind of playing with the idea of leasing a Model 3 performance, but I guess that sometimes it might make more sense to just pay for it and finance it because if the 0% gets extended to 72 months, then certainly it would be a better deal for sure.